Another variation on the theme of recreation-based natural resources income opportunities is a bed and breakfast business. And also we're on a farm. A lot of people will call me and they'll say, you're on a farm, right? A real farm? A working farm? I said, yes, we work. And uh, then some of them are really surprised when they get here, you know. They said, we really didn't think you had cor crops, you know, and things. And I said, yeah, because there's lots of smaller places now, 10 acres maybe, and, you know, they call it their farm. But uh, we have 125 acres. Irene and Louis Lehman began their bed and breakfast business in 1987. So we just enjoy people. And after our children left home, we decided it would be nice to turn it into a bed and breakfast. For them, it has been a rewarding experience. It's very enjoyable. We have lots of nice people from all walks of life. Lots of doctors, nurses, lawyers, FBI men, uh, government people, uh, just you name it from anywhere from about two weeks to 88 years old, I believe, is the oldest guest we've had. In their area, because they are zoned agricultural, it didn't take much paperwork or licensing to get them started. However, one essential was a special bed and breakfast insurance policy. Two other requirements involved the state. Except to get your uh, sales tax license. I have to have a license to collect sales tax for the rooms. And then when the room tax came along, and I have to send that in every month, regardless if I would have any income or not, you send a form in. When opening a new business, some trial and error is inevitable. The layman's learned from their early marketing attempts what works and what doesn't. Advertising in B&B &B books, for the most part. Uh, we have advertised other places, uh, like maybe Washington Post or something, but we found that a lot of people that are interested in B&B, &B, they're not looking in those papers evidently because we didn't get any business from that but we do get a lot from the bed and breakfast books and word of mouth and uh, of course now since we have brochures out around a lot of places why people call us they have learned it's important to belong to travel and tourism related bureaus and associations and we also belong to the tourism bureau here in town and uh, we get a lot through that and we also just recently we were the first ones to join the Hagerstown, the ends of the Hagerstown Valley. That's a bread and breakfast association. And now there's uh, 12 of us, I believe. Lewis and Irene Lehman know the key to success in the bed and breakfast business is to enjoy people and create a home-like atmosphere. If you don't like people, really like people, don't do it. And if you don't want to work, don't do it. Because it's really a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work.